Cruciverbalists. Ah, Cruciverbalists, gotcha. It's Tuesday night, nine o'clock, yeah. Time for a quarter hour of mirth, trivia, and mayhem. On this October 16th, big day in history. On this day, 1969, the Miracle Mets beat those heavily favored Baltimore Orioles to win their first World Series in franchise history just seven years after joining the league and putting together one of the worst seasons of all time. Jerry Kuzman beat Eddie Watt. It was a big game from Don Clendenin, Al Weiss, Ron Swoboda, Cleon Jones. Ah, I remember it like it was 49 years ago. Look, as a Mets fan, this is all I have in October, okay? Reminiscences of past glory from far long ago before I was born. But I see you, Red Sox Nation. Kudos to you and Brew Crew and Dodgers fans and maybe those Astros can come back. All of you striving for that championship ring. All of you looking for that trivia triumph right here, right now on HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host who can boast the most roast. Jerry H. Kuzman, Scott Rogowski, live from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Tucson, Arizona. In the kitchen, I'm quizzing with over 450,000 H. Cuties, including Kiana Mae Fallon, Catherine's BFF, Kristen Childers, happy birthday. My man, Dan, great to hang with you today. Jana in LA, met your husband. Cousin Sal, Joel, everyone I met today at Jimmy Kimmel Live, including Jimmy. Welcome back to Brooklyn, guys and gals. I've got a good, dare I say, great show for you tonight for a couple of reasons. One, you just stand to win some money. Real U.S. dollars. Yes, if you answer all 12 questions correctly, you'll be splitting our grand cash prize of 5,000 Duffy Dyers, 5,000 Danny Frizzellas, 5,000 Dollarinos. Woo-wee! But, you know, we do that every night, right? That's not that special. What is special is what I'm about to announce right now. Yes, folks, for the past many months, our HQ scientists have been in the lab experimenting with a new feature, whipping it up, testing it out, making sure it's and tonight its debut. Yeah. Santa, Quiz Kringle. It's gonna blow your mind, folks. It's called Gift Drop. Yes! Now pay very close attention to your screens, okay, as I explain what happens. When it's time for Gift Drop, a box is gonna appear on your screen. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, it's not Yeezys or Supreme. No, it's better. Only you will find out. You gotta tap your screen to open the box when that gift is dropped. Are you ready? Should we test it out right now? Are we gonna drop it like it's hot? Give it to me, baby. It's gift drop time for the first time. Tap, 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 tap. Find out what's in the box. Are you a winner, baby? Huh? Not everyone's gonna win, but some of you might be walking away with something there. Did you get it? Yes? What is it? Tell me. I don't know. They don't tell me these things. Oh, extra lives? Woo! Hmm? Maybe you got an extra life, maybe some other stuff. Now, you never know when it's gonna happen, all right? We did it. It was successful, but it could happen again. That extra life, by the way, if you got one, you could use it in tonight's game. If you didn't, Play five days in a row. That's how you get extra lives. Refer your friends. Another way to get extra lives. Okay, so you got the extra lives down. Thursday night. You know what's happening this Thursday, folks? Office night.
use it now. Stay in this game. If you know Avogadro's number, you know there's nothing lonely about it. It's roughly 602 sextillion. If you know Avocado's number, you're shopping at Trader Joe's. 3.14159 to infinity people. That's more awkward than lonely, but as Harry Nielsen wrote, and then Three Dog Night sang later beta band Amy Mann, one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. 411,093 know it. Two can be as bad as one. Question three can be as bad as question two. No, it's going to be slightly harder. What would you expect to see at the Louvre in Paris? Plays, movies, or art? Folks, these questions start easy. They do get harder, though. Since 1793, the Louvre has served the public in millions and millions of annual visitors, including Jay-Z and Beyonce, as the world's largest and most visited art museum. Home of La Jaconde! Mona Lisa, I done painted the picture. 392,543 Mona Lisas and Mad Hatters painting their masterpiece tonight. Q4, which is not a common way of saying goodbye in Spanish. Hasta mañana, comamos, or nos vemos. A lot of ways out of a small talk situation south of the border. You could say ciao. Hasta luego. See you later. Mañana. See you tomorrow. Hasta la pasta. Nos vemos. That's the plural form of see ya, but comamos just means let's eat. And yo como como un cerdo means I eat like a pig. 228,629. Feliz Navidad. You're getting la siguiente pregunta. Q5. Cinco. What sauce results from adding cheese to bechamel? Hollandaise, marinara, or mornay? To be H, kids, I have no idea how to make this. It's not exactly what you're cooking up in a bachelor pad, but if you want to cook professionally, you should know the five French mother sauces, of which bechamel is one. It's a base of butter, flour, and milk. Add some gruyere, and voila, you have more nay. Ooh, wee, bon boulot, 113,795 of you, 170,000. Quel dommage, you're gone, unless you have that extra life to keep you in. Allons-y, passez à la question suivante. Q6, which of these is closest to the thickness of Saturn's rings? Height of the Burj Khalifa, diameter of the Earth, or length of Florida? There she is again, folks. Saturn's rings. Call back! Having an unusually Saturnine quiz for this Tuesday. Should have saved it for Saturday, maybe. Not asking about the circumference or width of those rings because those rings are quite large and wide. But are they thick with two Cs? The estimated thickness varies from ring to ring, but it tops out around 100 yards. A football field much shorter than the Burj Khalifa, but of these options, clearly the closest. And clearly we have a savage question. Oh, the HQ Manity, 130,000 of you lost in space, 22,537, continuing your voyage to the final frontier Q12, we're at the halfway point here, Q7. The village people featured which of these costume personas? Plumber, soldier, or baseball player? Mm. Now, here's a weird Mandela effect for you. Nelson Mandela, not Howie Mandel. Many folks swear there were only five or even four village people, but there are usually six. Alex Briley became the group's soldier slash Sailor, soldier boy, tell him! Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man or woman or whatever you are. 22,031 of you are feeling macho tonight. There is no need to be unhappy. Uh, 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 young man, you're getting Q8. The McDonald's Corporation was sued in the 1970s for creating characters too similar to whose? Sid and Marty Croft, the Muppets, or Hanna-Barbera. However you feel about Mayor McCheese, you generally don't think of him as a defendant. But in 1977, a judge agreed he had an undeniable similarity to the mayor of Living Island, H.R. Puffin Stuff, of his namesake show, and ruled in favor of House Croft. Sid and Marty Croft created H.R. Puffin Stuff, and Q8 has created another savage question. Oh boy, Alberto. Wowie. Zowie, 6,706 of you entering the altered state of Drugachusetts at Q9. 
What English city is home to the soccer team whose fans are known as Gooners? London, Liverpool, or Manchester? Oh, the United Kingdom. They love their football the way we Americans love our football. And one of the sport's most rabid fan bases is known as the Gooners, in homage to the players they follow who are nicknamed the Gunners. It's the Arsenal FC straight out of London. London calling. Uh, London's calling, and I'm picking up another savage question. Back to back, Jax! With Tom Amansky in those AAU National Championships, 1,345 of you. Moving down the pitch, the rest of you, unlucky, unlucky. Q10 tonight. Ooh, a savage quiz. We haven't had one of these in a while. Q10, what best-selling novel did Salman Rushdie call so bad that it gives bad novels a bad name? Fifty Shades of Grey, The Da Vinci Code, or Twilight? Salman Rushdie, the unlikely star of the most recent season of Curb. Fatwa. Fatwa sex. No one more critical of writing than other writers. That is true. And the author of the satanic verses unloaded on this piece of work. In fact, there's a Wikipedia page over 25,000 words long titled Criticism of the Da Vinci Code. Dan Brown going down. 1,080 of you going downtown, cracking the Da Vinci Code, cracking the code of the quiz tonight. You're getting the penultimate question, Q11, your last chance to use an extra life, by the way, that cannot be used on the final question. Q11, which U.S. state's abbreviation is in the official Scrabble Dictionary? Nebraska, Minnesota, or Rhode Island? Which is neither a road nor an island. Discuss. It is National Dictionary Day, folks. Do you send a dick pic? I did. There's my dick pic right there. Boom! It's a selfie with the dictionary. Get it? Wow, wow. The Scrabble Dictionary is my favorite dictionary. It contains all the weird and obscure words no one ever uses outside of the Scrabble board, such as the two-letter word ne, meaning born with the name of, spelled N-E, which is the abbreviation of Nebraska. And Nebraska's so flat that I don't care. 485 of you care to win HQ tonight, and you're one question away. Omaha! Oh boy, Alberto, 485 of you are getting Q12. The final round, it all boils down to this, kids. 485 players, $5,000. Who don't gotta dance? Who make money move? Mm. Still loving that hip hop show we did last night. Q12. In most of Latin America, My Poor Little Angel is the translated title of what film? The Karate Kid, Finding Nemo, or Home Alone. Ah, oh, I love. Mistranslations of movie titles. The Danes have some good ones. I, I studied abroad in Denmark. I remember some of the Danish titles. Sister Act, the movie Sister Act in Danish, translate to the kerfuffle in the convent. Mm -hmm. Spanish has some good translations too. This one takes the point of view of the mom in the movie, I guess, in leaving her helpless kid home alone over Christmas. Kevin! Mi pobre angelito! And we have 400 on the dot. 400 winners tonight, baby! Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye! Yeah. Ooh wee! 400! Split in 5,000. That's 1250. And even splitsies. We don't. Twenty-five thousand.
technology. Yeah. Bears beat Battlestar Galactica on Thursday, 25k, 25k going to 100 or less on Sunday. Until I see you back here tomorrow, right? I'll see you tomorrow at 9. I'm Scott Rogowski, signing off, saying, as I said to Dolores Montenegro in Calling All Quakers, have it your way, baby. Good night.